to demonstrate two new products that have come on to the um, uh, tvtrade.ie website to um, uh, solve the problem of how to mount uh, a satellite dish or a TV aerial in a, onto a mobile home or a caravan park. So a uh, caravan. Uh, so you can see here we have two satellite dishes, either a sky or even better, a light 60 centimeter dish. This is a smart 60 centimeter dish and, and ideal for this type of purposes. Or we have a TV aerial here as well, okay? And the problem is, is that normally these are mounted securely onto a chimney, uh, but there's no uh, concrete structure we can mount it onto, certainly no mobile one. Uh, so what, what Blake's in the UK have developed is two brackets to counteract this particular problem. Um, so I'm uh, specifically now I'm going to show you the, the jockey wheel uh, clamp here but before that I'm just going to give you a quick overview of what the other option would be which is an A-frame bracket which I have pre-installed over here. So what we have here is um, we have an A-frame bracket here that actually clips onto the frame itself. We tighten it in with a 10 millimeter spanner and, a, and then wing nuts here to lock the pole in. And what we would do is we would simply mount uh, an aerial or a satellite onto this particular pole. Uh, this is a good simple solution. The disadvantage of it is it is a maximum extension or a maximum pole diameter of 25 millimeters or one inch. Uh, and um, that makes it quite limited in, in the type of pole it can handle um, and you know it, it's a reasonably secure. Uh, the, the other bracket here I, I think is somewhat preferable in certain ways and this attaches directly onto the jockey wheel and it's actually quicker and easier to put on uh, although it would normally need to be moved when you're uh, transporting it. Uh, so what we're going to do here is I'm just going to show you how to slide this particular one on. So we don't even need to disassemble this particular bracket. We simply slide it over the handle here and down onto the jockey wheel. What we do is we just get bring it into the position where we need it and we lock it here with wing nuts. Now we could use something like a vice grips to tighten this fully but at this particular point this is sufficient. Okay. And what we have done is we've securely locked that in position and it's pretty tight. And what we want to do now is we can mount a pole here in the position that we could use to uh, mount an aerial. So if I moved over here and simply grab the aerial that we had for demonstration a moment ago, I can simply slot this down through the bracket here and push it in here and it simply locks into position. Now the one tool we could possibly use here is we'd use a hammer. If, if we, Instead of being on concrete we were actually on grass here. What I'd normally do is I just tip the top of the pole and drive this down into the ground which would give us an even more secure mounting. Now both aerials and satellites need to be securely mounted but in particular satellite dishes if, if you move by even one degree you'll lose your signal okay. So something like this anyway. Uh, what, you, what you want to do is have it as secure as possible but this does give a very very secure fitting even when pushed into the ground but I'd say possibly even better when pushed into um, uh, earth. Okay. Now one problem you may encounter is that the pole here itself might be high enough to get over surrounding obstacles. So it'll probably work reasonably well at that but if you want a, an alternative or a, a, an add-on product you can have onto this is you can use one of two different types of pole clamps. You can either use the Shelly 8 nut clamp which would simply clamp on here. Um, let me show you here, I'll twist it. Uh, like so clamps on here and it allows you to put a second pole in here which you clamp on to give you the extra extension okay and you can simply disassemble that and reassemble it when you get to the thing and it saves the awkwardness of having to carry uh, maybe a 10 foot pole which nobody would like to do uh, and the other alternative would be much the same idea which is a simple uh, clamp here this is a, a limited exactly to um, inch and a quarter poles things like this and it gives a very very firm connection um, so it's really up to yourself um, Certainly these are ideal uh, for extending for an aerial, but with a satellite dish, once again, you don't want to have it up too high because the more the higher it is, the more sway you'll have. And as I said, satellite dishes are very, very sensitive to uh, sway. But these are two excellent, excellent products which I think will sell great um, and a good investment for anybody who has either um, a caravan or a mobile home. So that's an overview from beginning to end of the jockey and wheel um, uh, clamp uh, to hold a satellite dish or a TV aerial.